Exercise Intolerance, Wikipedia Audio Exercise intolerance is a condition of inability or decreased ability to perform physical exercise at what would be considered to be the normally expected level or duration. It also includes experiences of unusually severe post-exercise pain, fatigue, nausea, vomiting or other negative effects. Exercise intolerance is not a disease or syndrome in and of itself, but can result from various disorders. Intolerance to exercise may be caused by unusual breathlessness, muscle pain, tachypnoia, tachycardia, or increasing muscle weakness, or exercise might result in severe headache, nausea, dizziness, occasional muscle cramps or extreme fatigue which would make it intolerable. In most cases, the specific reason that exercise is not tolerated is of considerable significance when trying to isolate the cause down to a specific disease. Dysfunctions involving the pulmonary, cardiovascular, or neuromuscular systems have been frequently found to be associated with exercise intolerance, with behavioral causes also playing a part. Causes Cytochrome B mutations can frequently cause isolated exercise intolerance and myopathy and in some cases multi-system disorders. The mitochondrial respiratory chain complex 3 catalyses electron transfer to cytochrome C. Complex 3 is embedded in the inner membrane of the mitochondria and consists of 11 subunits. Cytochrome B is encoded by the mitochondrial DNA which differs from all other subunits which are encoded in the nucleus. Cytochrome B plays a major part in the correct fabricating and function of complex 3. This mutation occurred in an 18-year-old man who had experienced exercise intolerance for most of his adolescence. Symptoms included extreme fatigue, nausea, a decline in physical activity ability and myalgia. Decompensated heart failure, recent myocardial infarction, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy or cardiomyopathy from recent myocarditis, active or suspected myocarditis or pericarditis, low left ventricular ejection fraction, severe aortic stenosis, unstable ischemia, unstable arrhythmia, irregular or resting pulse greater than 100 bpm, resting systolic blood pressure greater than 200 mmHg or resting diastolic blood pressure greater than 110 mmHg, severe pulmonary hypertension, severe chronic fatigue syndrome, suspected or known. Dissecting aortic aneurysm, recent systemic or pulmonary embolus, pneumothorax and hemoptysis, thrombophlebitis. Individuals with elevated levels of cerebrospinal fluid can experience increased head pain, throbbing, pulsatile tinnitus, nausea and vomiting, faintness and weakness and even loss of consciousness after exercise or exertion. Exercise is key for many heart and back patients, and a variety of specific exercise techniques are available for both groups. Some exercise specialists are trained in modifications specific to these patients. In individuals with heart failure and normal F, including aortic distensibility, blood pressure, LV diastolic compliance and skeletal muscle function, aerobic exercise has the potential to improve exercise tolerance. A variety of pharmacological interventions such as verapamil, enalapril, angiotensin receptor antagonism, and aldosterone antagonism could potentially improve exercise tolerance in these individuals as well. Research on individuals suffering from chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, has found a number of effective therapies in relation to exercise intolerance. These include A combination of these therapies, have shown the potential to improve exercise tolerance as well. 
Certain conditions exist where exercise may be contraindicated or should be performed under the direction of an experienced and licensed medical professional acting within his or her scope of practice. These conditions include The above list does not include all potential contraindications or precautions to exercise. Although it has not been shown to promote improved muscle strength, Passive range of motion exercise is sometimes used to prevent skin breakdown and prevent contractures in patients unable to safely self-power. Respiratory Disorders Chronic Fatigue Syndrome Post-Concussion Syndrome Heart Conditions Musculoskeletal Disorders Mutations Cytochrome B mutations Intracranial hypertension Treatment Hazards <laughs>